They were some of society's most trusted members and depraved. The youth worker, church elder and engineer who used family friendships to gain access to children and abuse them. James Rennie was chief executive of a youth organisation advising gay teenagers in Edinburgh. A couple he'd known for years let him babysit their son. When he did, he abused the boy for several years from when the boy was just three months old. And he shared his victim with another member of the paedophile ring, Neil Strachan, who was already preying on victims of his own as young as 18 months. Police read a statement on the parents' behalf. The anguish I feel towards Mr Strachan is indescribable. I will never be able to forgive him for the sick acts that he committed against my son. I feel that no matter what punishment is given to Mr Strachan, it will never be able to compensate for the hurt, devastation and great deal of distress brought to me and my family. Mr Strachan used and abused our trust in order to satisfy his and others' sick needs. Rennie and Strachan offered to give other members of the paedophile ring access to the children they were abusing. It was Strachan, though, who unwittingly alerted police to their activities. He'd taken his work's computer to be repaired, and child pornography was discovered on the hard drive. Among the images retrieved by police was one of Strachan abusing an 18-month-old boy. His face didn't appear in the photo, but his hand did. Forensic analysts pinpointed his thumbnail as a distinguishing mark. Ultimately, the eight in the dock were traced through internet contact. Police estimate this particular network of paedophiles stretches throughout the UK and beyond, involving dozens more. James Matthews, Sky News, Edinburgh.